you are developing a containerized application, you create the image, and then you push into the registry. But then what's next? Let's automate its deployment with the help of Azure Pipelines and the Container Registry Trigger. Hi everybody, and welcome back to Coder Dave. As you probably know, Azure Pipelines supports many types of triggers, and sometimes it gets a little confusing. This is why I decided to create this new mini series of videos dedicated to the triggers. And today, in the first video of the series, we are going to talk about the container registry trigger, which allows you to start a deployment anytime a new image is pushed to your Docker registry or Azure Container Registry. Before we start, just make sure to subscribe to this channel right now if you aren't already. Just click on the subscribe button below and turn on a notification so you will not miss any new videos in this series. I will focus first on the classic release pipelines using the UI and then on the YAML multi-stage pipelines. And stay with me until the end because I have a workaround for you for some of the things we are going to talk about. Let's dive into Azure DevOps. Let's create a new release pipeline. So let's go to release, new, new release pipeline. And let's start with an empty one. Now, the most important part for today's videos is the artifact. In fact, this is where you set the trigger for this release to happen. Let's add the new artifact. And if we go down here, we can see that we can select either Azure Container Registry or Docker Hub. If you select Container Registry, you can specify its settings. And same if you select Docker Hub, you have its own settings, including again, repository and namespaces. You need to create some service connection for either of those. In my case, I created already a Docker Hub and I connected that to Azure DevOps. And I also created an Azure Container Registry and I created the service connection for it. For this demo, I will select my Docker Hub with my namespace and the trigger example repository. We can also specify a default version that will be used at time of release creation. And finally, we can assign it a name. Now, when we add this, we need to remember to enable the continuous deployment trigger. This way, every time we will push a new image to that repository, automatically Azure Pipelines will start and do whatever we tell them to do. Let's close this. Let's add now a job at the stage one to simulate a deployment. The reason why I want to simulate a deployment is that I don't have a host right now to deploy to. So I will just use this script to pretend I'm deploying. Let's save this. And maybe we can change its name. Now our pipeline is configured to respond for continuous deployment whenever a Docker push occurs in the selected repository. Let's see if it works. Here we have my Docker hub. And as you can see, I have only one tag in here. So let's go back and build the same image with tag number two. And let's push it to the repository. Let's go back to Docker Hub and let's verify it's here. Yeah, here it is, the image number two. So at this point, our pipeline should have trigger. Let's take a look. And as you can see, our release is in progress. Let's check the logs. Here we see that it started because of continuous deployment. And if we take a look at the artifacts, we see that it actually used the version two of the image. Let's close this and go to the stage. If we scroll down, we can see here all the details about this artifact, including the version, the namespace and the repository and what kind of artifacts we're talking about. Okay, this was for the classic pipelines. Easy, right? Before we move to the YAML pipelines, if you think this video is valuable to you or you find it insightful, just hit the like button below. Let's see how to achieve the same using the multi-stage YAML pipelines. Actually, it will be kind of the same just because the trigger functionality is supported only if you're using Azure Container Registry and is not currently supported for Docker Hub. However, as I promised before, stay with me until the end because I have a workaround for you. To be able to trigger a new pipeline's run whenever a new image is pushed to a registry, we need to use a resource. If you're not familiar with resources, those are basically things that can be consumed 
and use in a pipeline, but that live outside a pipeline. And those can be, for example, repositories, package feeds, and of course, container registries. To start, let's create a new YAML pipeline. And let's start with a starter pipeline. Let's remove the unused part and let's set trigger to known. And I'll explain why in a second. Then we need to add the resource definition and this must go before anything else. So like here, let me explain this to you. We have the resources keyword here and we have the containers keyword here. And finally, a container resource definition. My container here is the name and we are telling pipelines that is of type ACR, Azure Containers Registry. This can also be Docker Hub, but as I mentioned, the trigger part is not available if you're using Docker Hub. Then we need to pass some configuration here. This is the name of the service connection, my resource group, the Azure Container Registry name, and finally, the repository name. But in all these, the most important part is this one down here. In fact, we have this trigger keyword and this enabled basically this pipeline to run with this custom trigger instead of the normal one. And this custom trigger is in fact an Azure Container Registry trigger. And as we can see here, we can also specify which tag to include or exclude from the trigger. In this case, I only want to trigger this pipeline if the image tag starts with production. And this is basically it, nothing else is required. Like in the previous example, let's just add a script and pretend we are deploying. Let's change its name and let's save it. We also have to change its name because by default, it takes the name of the project. Let's call it YAML CD from ACR. Let's save this. Let's go to the ACR. And as you can see here, I have the triggers example container registry, which has the triggers example image repository. And to be sure, let's go in and we can see that as before, I only have one tag here, which is the number one. Once again, let's build up the image and let's push it to the container registry. All right, let's go back to our pipelines and see what happens. Here we go. The pipeline has been automatically triggered as we can see here. And if we go inside, we can also see this very interesting information that we have one artifact consume, which of course is the production V2 from the triggers example image repository. Let's go back. And once again, we have triggered a pipeline, in this case, a YAML pipeline, after pushing an image to a container registry. As I mentioned, even though our source of type container can be either Azure Container Registry or Docker Hub, the trigger part is available only if you're using Azure Container Registry. But as I promise, I have a workaround for you. You can in fact make it work for Docker Hub as well using some webhooks and some sort of custom integration. In my case, I decided to use Logic Apps between Docker Hub and Azure DevOps because it's really easy to set up and it offers already some components to connect to Azure DevOps. Let's see how. First of all, let's build the Logic App. To trigger the Logic App, we will use an HTTP request because we will use this basically as a web hook. And of course we will need the HTTP URL, but in this case it's not there yet because we haven't saved it. So we will retrieve it later. So let's collapse this, just clicking on the title and add the new step. Let's search for Azure DevOps. And here we go. Let's add this. And let's scroll down until we find queue a new build over here. The reason why I'm using the queue a new build instead of create release is because the create release task is actually for the classic release pipelines. While if you remember one of my previous videos, the YAML pipelines are actually treated as a build pipeline per se. So let's add this. In my case, I'm already logged in, but if you're not, you will be prompt to insert the account that has enough rights on Azure DevOps. Now let's start entering the organization name, the project name, pipelines experiments, and let's find the build definition ID. For me, it's this YAML to deploy from Docker Hub with webhook that I created previously. And this is basically it. Let's save it and go up here to get the URL. As you can see, it is really, really easy to set these up. Now, next thing we have to do is go into the Docker Hub in the webhook section and create a new webhook. Let's call it Azure DevOps YAML pipeline and let's paste the logic app URL. 
Let's create this. And we're basically set. Let's go once again to the terminal and let's rebuild the image with another tag. And finally, let's push it to the repository. Let's make sure the image has been pushed correctly. And yeah, here we are. So at this point, if we go back to our pipelines, I should be able to see the pipeline running. And in fact, here it is. Differently from before, we can see that it's detected like manually triggered. And the reason for this is that Logic Apps basically invoked the Azure DevOps APIs to actually queue this definition. So for the service, this is not part of any CI CD, but it's kind of manually triggered via the APIs. For some reason it failed. Let's see why. Oh, it's just my syntax error because I put actually the parentheses and Bash is not happy with that. But as you can see here, the job actually run and apart from the wrong command that I put there, everything worked as expected. So we were actually able to trigger this YAML pipeline whenever pushing a new image to a Docker Hub repository. Sweet, right? All right, that's it for today. Hit the like button below if you think this video provided value to you or you found it insightful. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please consider subscribing if you aren't already. Thank you very much for joining me today and see you soon at Coded Dave.